What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now we're just doing something different today because I'm being asked this question quite a lot. I fear taking a trade and this is coming from a lot of people and I think that we need to address this because really and truly it's something that everyone is going to face in their trading journey whether it's now, whether it's in the future, whether you're trading a small account or whether you're trading a big account is going to happen to you regardless. Now, how do we overcome this? And the question is, is it really possible to overcome this? Well, if we compare the majority to those that are the minority, and we say to ourselves, well, are there actually people succeeding? We can safely say that are succeeding. So for that reason, it is more than possible. Now, let me tell you something. The emotions that we go through in trading have obviously come through fear. Now that fear has stemmed from somewhere. We're not gonna get into too much detail as to where it could stem from because that's something for you to think about. But how are we affected by that fear? Well, the answer is our mental state. That's where it starts from, ultimately. Because before any action we take and any results we get, it all starts up here. So if it starts up here, and this is something that we can control if we practice, then it's very, very possible that we can turn this around in a very short space of time. Now, whatever your fear is for not taking that trade is going to be a personal matter, but I really want you to think about this. I want you to go back to a time where you first started trading and you said to yourself, do you know what? This business in trading is going to be the catalyst to me succeeding and achieving the dreams and desires that I want to go for. So go back there for a second and think about that. Think about how strong the passion was. Think about how much you wanted to study, how much you wanted to achieve that success and how you saw that vision be impossible to achieve. Now, think about your journey after that point as you go through the stages of learning, understanding new things, applying new things to the market. What ends up happening? Well, you start to take losing trades and eventually you start to pick up bad habits. Not for all, but for the majority. And then what happens? All of a sudden, you forget the real reason why you're trading. And now you start to create a story in your head. This story develops way before you plan to trade, way before you do any charting. It starts when you're laying in bed, when you wake up in the morning, when you're at work, and what you start to do is repeat that story over and over again. What triggers that? Well, maybe you're losing trade, or maybe you've just blown an account, or maybe you're just watching people too much to the point that you start comparing yourself to them and you're not getting the results that you want. And with that story, you start to fabricate it and you start to create excuses and that anxiety and fear starts to kick in. Now, really and truly, you have to then ask yourself, what I'm feeling right now, is this problem a big problem or is this problem bigger than life? And when you really ask yourself that question, you need to stop and say to yourself, how big is this picture? How much is it controlling me? Because you're painting it at the end of the day, right? Because it's your thoughts and those thoughts you're putting into actions and the actions are what giving you the results. So if you were to stop for just a minute or two and you were to reflect back, so think about that. Reflect back to the time when you started trading and the reason you went into trading. Now look at that situation there compared to the thoughts that you have now, which is the fear of taking a trade. And ask yourself, is the fear of taking the trade bigger than the reason I got into trading? And for the majority, the answer is going to be no. So then you have to then say to yourself, how can I replace this with my current thoughts and the real reason why I'm trading? Now, I know it sounds a bit mundane. You just like, I'll oh, replace thoughts. And it's no, listen to me. It's very, very important you do this. Now, how can we do this? This is the question. Well, what we need to do is we need to change our state. That will be in two ways. That will be a physical state or that will be in our mood. So if you think about this, let's say you're sitting at your, your desk or you're on your phone or you're at work or let's say in your living room so far and you're trading. And just before you're about to take that trade, you start to get those thoughts in your head and start to say to yourself all these stories that you're building up. What if I lose this trade? 
I'm now going to be down 1% or 2%. Or for most people, the worst of it is I started off with a £500 account. And if I lose this trade, I'm going to be sitting at £475. Some people just can't bear to see the balance. But let's just say, whatever the reason, think about it for yourself. You start to go into your head and you start to now bring those negative thoughts up and you start to create that anxiety yourself all mental now at that state let's just say you're sluggish you're sitting down you can't be bothered whatever the reason is imagine if you was to change your state and you said to yourself and you recognize that obviously and you said to yourself you know what now is the time for me to change my state and you got up and you i don't know don't care what you do but you stand up and you jump in the air you do a squat you run around your living room, you bang your head on the wall, I don't care what it is. What is that gonna do for you? Well, that's immediately gonna take your thoughts away from those negative thoughts, those anxious feelings that you're creating mentally, and it's gonna put you in a different state. Now, what's that gonna do for you? Well, it's gonna build up that adrenaline, it's gonna start to create different emotions, and then what you're gonna be able to do is reevaluate the negative thinking that you're going through that fear of actually taking that trade. Once you've done that and you've snapped yourself out of that situation and you've got yourself back into a more pumped up situation, you can then see things clearly. And then once you do that, you can go back to what I said in the beginning. You can replace those fears, those negative thoughts, and you can replace them with the real reason as to why you actually got into trading, what it is you're trying to achieve. And then you can ask yourself, is, the, is what I'm going through right now bigger than the world or is it just a big problem that I'm facing and now I can replace that with something new it's a state of mind and you have to do it now where how are you going to do this well you need to think back to why you get into this situation or where it stemmed from should I say when you find out where it stemmed from you need to figure out why it stemmed and then what you need to do is you need to say to yourself well what can i replace that with what is going to keep me motivated the thought of being able to take my family on holiday twice a year quit my job make a lot of money for a lot of people whatever it may be and you need to envision that you need to have that at your the forefront of your mind so once you snapped out of that mood and you've changed your 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 physiology and you've got up and you've bounced around and you've done whatever you've done and your mood has now switched to something more positive or at least a little bit more upbeat then you need to replace that once you replace it guess what's going to happen you're going to have more drive and desire to do what you know you should be doing as opposed to attaching yourself to the story that you've created in your head before you even got to your trading. Because the sad thing is, most traders plan to fail. And if you know that you're not in this business to fail, then you need to make sure that you're changing that way of thinking. All that time, the hours and days and sleepless nights and early mornings that you wake up and you start to think about all this crap that's drowning your mind and just stopping you from doing what you know you should be doing is something that you're creating so instead of thinking about the outcome of what could be a losing trade start to think about what could be the outcome of the losing trade that you can learn from or think about the outcome of what could happen if you take 10 trades in a row without focusing on each trade at a time and then getting the results from that or even worse or even better should i say think about this think about in five years time when you're still sitting at home on mt4 and one of your close friends or somebody you admire to is doing something they love and dream that have dreamed about but you're not because you decided not to apply yourself now i know it sounds crazy and you'd be like this is just fear of taking the trade rocks why are you going so deep but the truth is it's deep if you don't change this and you keep planning to fail, then guess what's going to happen? You're constantly going to live in the past. And if you're living in the past, then you're not accepting that the past is over. It's done. So you can't allow that to control you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Think about it this way. Let's say I was to come to your house and you invited me over to have spaghetti bolognese. Now, it's not my favorite, but it's the one that can make the most mess. And let's say I decided to start raging and I throw the plate everywhere. It goes all over your sofa, on your floor and your whatever else. Now, when I leave or you kick me out or whatever else, you call the police on me, what are you going to then do? Are you then going to remember that moment by leaving the spaghetti and the meatballs and all the ketchup or whatever sauce it's called lying around on the floor? absolutely not you'll be ludicrous to do it you're going to remove that so that you can just say to yourself well you know what whether i talk to rocks or not again that's gone it's clear this is my house and this is my way of living you're going to remove it simple 
So then ask yourself, why do you allow your mental state to stay in the condition that it's in? Well, because you're not working on it. You're not trying to change it. But ultimately, that's the reason why you're in a position that, position that you're in when you fear taking a trade. You're allowing your mental state to cloud your judgment. And in turn, it's a whole heap of mess. So if you're not going to keep the spaghetti meatballs all over your house that I've trashed, but you're going to clear it up to make sure that, you know what, your house is restored back to normal. Why then are you not going to clear your mental state? Only until you create the right story will you then be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, how do we do this? Well, we have to build confidence. But how is confidence built? Well, you need to learn to be competent. And in order to be competent, you need to take action. So if you're not taking action, which is actually executing that trade, then how are you ever going to be able to turn things around or see a different result or even prove to yourself that, guess what? I don't need to fear the past anymore. I don't need to fear the previous results I've had. This is the new me. I've learned from this. This is the reason that I'm doing it. This is the mental state that I'm in. Forget the old habits. These are the new habits or forget the old thoughts. These are the new thoughts. Replace them. See the vision. See the dream. And then guess what? Just take the damn trade. Excuse me. Take the damn trade. What harm is it going to do to you guys? You have to understand it's not about the trade you're about to take now. It's the next 99 that come after that. And what you really have to understand is that the emotions that you're going through really and truly are not that the markets are making you feel like that. It's that you have put yourself in this situation because ultimately, guess what? The markets are emotionless. So you really have no one to blame. And you have to really ask yourself if you have these dreams to say, let's fly your own plane or to take your family away to the Maldives or go wherever you want in the world and trade on your phone and laptop. If by the age of a, let's say 60 or 70, you're still in a position where you're having to work a nine to five and live off your government pension. Look at that vision. Are you going to be happy and satisfied? Some people are not knocking it, but are you going to be happy and satisfied? Well, I don't think so. You don't have sleepless nights or go to bed late or wake up early or do all the preparation that you do not to achieve your dreams. So you have to be working on this. You cannot be blaming the markets. You have to be making sure you're putting in the work, the time and the effort to achieve what it is you're trying to achieve. So guys, listen, it's not gonna be simple, but understand it starts here. Think about the real reason you are trading. Why are you doing this? What motivates you to put in as much work and fail as much as you do to keep getting back up and trying as hard as you're trying? to sacrifice leisure, sacrifice takeaways, sacrifice going out to make sure that you can save enough money to build your account balance or to inv invest money to take funded traded accounts so that you can get an account size that's gonna give you value or you can achieve the financial rewards that you believe you deserve with the skill set that you have. You need to make sure that you find that reason. Every time that negative thought comes into your mind, you need to replace it immediately. Change your mood, jump, bang your head on the wall, throw yourself on the floor, let your children look at you and laugh at you, let your wife think you're crazy, but you know you need to do that because if you don't do it, you're not gonna be able to build that confidence by being competent, which is taking action. And without changing that state that you're in, the actions that you're gonna get or the results that you're gonna get from your actions are gonna consistently be the same. So change your state, replace that negative thought immediately. Take that big picture that you have, shrink it down and bring the new picture in and make sure that you can see that clearly. Play some music, I don't care what it is, replace it. That is gonna help fuel you to get up, to take that trade or to say to yourself, I'm not gonna take this trade because of X, Y, and Z. Just really see clean, um, things clearly. So it's a practice that you can start doing right now, right, right now try it with anything you do and i'm telling you you're going to see the results let me know down in the comments what you think of this let me know how it goes for you and as i always say if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button subscribe and until next time take care